Missisquoi Valley Union High School is churning out dozens of students to head to the state science fair by having them first present their projects on the local level. One of those students is Ella Partlow. I'm a competitive dancer and so um, I actually had a competition the same day as the Vermont STEM Fair, so I was really going back and forth between Norwich and um, downtown Burlington. Ella Partlow was hoping this year's Vermont STEM Fair is less stressful. You have your hypothesis, which you do after your background research. Especially because her project is pretty much done. I have some um, photos of what the petri dishes looked like and some interesting growth that happened. Partlow, along with many other freshmen and sophomores at Missisquoi Valley Union High School, had to present on their local level already. Everybody is required to do an independent research project. You could also put that into the STEM fair. Up to this year, we had 130 students or so that were involved. Now, there's no subject requirement, leaving it completely up to Partlow what she'd research for her school's fair. I wear contacts myself, and so it applied to me directly. For her third year at the state fair, she's diving into some practical research. I wanted to test to see how effective different contact solutions were at minimizing um, bacteria growth on the surface of a contact lens. These kids are really, you know, enthusiastic about what they're doing. They, you know, they love the project they chose. Science fair topics range from soils to syrups down to the smallest things you can see under a microscope. The hope is that students can see science past their textbooks. We've definitely seen a lot of kids that are involved in science and that are going into science in the uh, in college after the uh, after they leave here. So that's a nice thing. Now the sophomore doesn't know if she'll pursue research or science after high school, but she does say she's thankful for the opportunities her school gives her now. I think the teachers and the classes definitely help to kind of push me. And I often learn things from doing these experiments. So that's really the best part of part of it is learning. Partlow came in first place at her local science fair about a week and a half ago, and she placed in the top 10 in last year's state fair, so we'll have to wait to see how far those contacts get her. Jackie Pascal, NBC5 News.